Welcome back, everyone. This is B Bell Dan. I'm going to go ahead and forego a lot of the formalities this time around in this episode and maybe for future episodes. Uh, from what I've been noticing, a lot of y'all are pretty much the same faithful viewers that I've been having. Um, you know, from the little bit of information I gathered, some of y'all are, you know, watching it because you just like to, you know, see kind of where I'm going with this particular version of the Enterprise. A uh, few of y'all are using this for um, using this for tutorial purposes. Yeah, I probably should have just there you go. Um, but uh, you know, but the most the main part is is that a lot of y'all pretty much know what's going on right now. I mean, so yeah, we can go ahead and skip the formalities such as what we're doing here. Uh, you know, just, just straight into it. I have done not as much work as I would have liked, I would have to admit. Uh, I mean, I've done a little bit of work along the front of the ship, which we'll take a look at in a minute, and done a little bit of work on the bottom. Not as much work on the top, but there is one area that I've done quite a bit of work on since the last time, since the last episode, and unfortunately, that work has been um very grueling yes, we'll look more into that in a minute i'm just kind of right now working on this bottom portion here okay there we go um because yeah if you look at the if you remember when i showed y'all a few episodes back on the bottom portion it looked like there were some support struts so you can barely see them right there maybe if i go into rendered yeah there you can you can kind of see them so these are like little support struts areas or little small little details that are seen on the bottom portion of the saucer section so i'm kind of working on those uh, but yeah the primary area that i've been working on have been the pylons and tell you what let's go ahead and take a close take a quick look at those um you know i oops there we go yeah, if you can kind of notice, if you remember these pylons here, let me just go ahead and there we go. I have actually went ahead and completely redid these these parts of the pylons here. Uh, you know, the details, the surface details are gone. The, the little blue strips that was running underneath them, those are gone because I completely deleted all those and start it again and the reason being about why I did it I don't know if y'all probably might have noticed it in the previous episodes but when I was taking oops, there it goes when I was taking a close look at how this was all lining up with the picture this was not exact I think I pointed it out in the last episode but these were not lining up with this I mean this little blue strip right here for the um, you know, for the, you know, universal drive, uh, for lack of a better term, universal, the universe drive, universal drive was, was way up here. So this wasn't all quite of alignment, but I've, as you can see, as I've been working on it, I've actually this time around have gotten it to line up pretty darn close. I mean, that's a lot closer than what I was before. And that is something I'm going to be happy with. I mean, I'm not, I can't always act or ask for 100% for this entire ship to look the way that it was that it was meant to look. I mean, that's just too much to ask for because one, I mean, we don't have a good clear shot of the ship, even though I mean, even now that you know, uh, Doug Drexler has, you know, he's he's kind of come out. He's released more pictures of the ship. You know, we're still not seeing good views of the ship so we're guesstimating a lot of this at this point uh but, you know i mean it's a lot closer i mean that because i changed that the angle of this you can see i'm gonna need to change the angle of these pylons as well as these main the lower portion of the pylons that blends into the the lower portion of the primary hull so i'm gonna have to m mess with those and try to get those to line up but but as far as these upper portion of the pylons are, uh, those are, I mean, it looks a lot better. I mean, we're not 100% exact, but once again, um, 
I can't go for 100% accuracy on this. I mean, as much as I would like to. I mean, the bottom side, we don't really have, I don't have quite, you know, that much, um, you know, detail on, you know, that I would deem, you know, canonized, once again, canonized being seen on screen. And, um, So, you know, we'll just, just take it the way that we, you know, just, we'll just take it the way that we got it. I mean, I'm going to just try to work on this getting, getting as close as possible. And for the most part, I, I am going to go ahead and pretty much just, just kind of take that as is. It's just, that took me a long time for me to try to get that to line up right. I mean, it took quite a bit of work, but, you know, eventually we did get it. Eventually I did get it. Uh, but now I got to rebuild all those Darn it. I bet you that didn't line up quite the way. Oh, nope. Quite the way I was hoping it would. But, you know, it's it's going to be a lot of work that I'm going to have to restart again. But, you know, well, well you know what they say, you can't make a few omelets without breaking a few eggs. So I kind of saw that I was going to have to do this again. In fact, this entire project, once again, if, if you all remember, is due because I wanted to try this over again. I mean, I made this once before and you know, wasn't quite 100% happy with the way that it looked, the way it turned out. So, um, you know, so that's this that's where we are right now. Okay, what I'm trying to do now is line up these cuz I these parts of the pylons I already extruded now I extruded the outer ring where this blends in but I extruded them two separate times so now I'm trying to uh, you know put these together uh, no it's not what I wanted I didn't want to hide it you know put these together so well this is a kind of a two-part process because first I got to combine the vertices and then after whoops then after combining the vertices there's going to be a face that is hiding in there that I'm going to have to go ahead and delete. So, yeah, there we go. So when if I if I decide to put in subdivision on onto this model, it doesn't get all because those edges when you put in a subdivision, they're going to try to pull those two vertices in towards each other. I mean, we'll see it. These two will will pull together closer together and bend. But these two vertices, they have an edge there. They're going to pull together here. I mean, with that, removing that ed, the face removes that extra edge that's kind of hidden, so they won't pull together. So it just makes it look a lot cleaner. Uh, but, um, but yeah, uh, pretty much that the pylons was the primary thing that I've been working on. But I've also worked on the front of the ship. Let's take a close look at those, and let me go ahead and go into rendered view here. And yeah, I've actually got minus some small details and texturing, and I'm gonna try some stuff with try something with some of the coloring. I'll probably go ahead and do that on on screen today. But uh, the deflector dish is, or at least this inner part, the blue portion of the deflector dish is pretty much done. Um, as I said, barring just a couple of small little details, uh, I can see right there there's a face that, for whatever reason, inherited this gray portion of the hull, this gray, and not this blue portion, so I got to fix that. Let me go ahead and do that real quick. And I still need to do a lot of work on this gold portion right here, but for the most part, that's pretty much done. And I've also started kind of um, putting in this little recess detail right along here on the front of the ship where um, it's primarily used for sensors I mean on the Enterprise D they have that strip if you notice around the saucer section they have this entire strip and if remember the technical manual they said that, that was nothing but um, you know sensors and everything inside there gotta do some cleaning up on it I mean it's just in there very rough but gotta do some cleaning up but I did that uh, but as far as in here, I said, yeah, that's pretty much done. I went ahead and extruded all those edges that I want. So I got a, 
couple of edges we need to like for example go into here and select these edges because these edges for whatever reason inherited the color scheme that's tied into starship gray I have starship gray and deflector blue or vents I need to change it to a different color vents um, what I want is I want to go ahead and select vents and I want to as make sure that you have those faces selected and assign that so now those now inherit that now what I'm going to try working on real quick is besides this specular and everything um, you know what, let's try this let's see how this looks if we remove ambient inclusion so go to the world let's remove ambient inclusion let's go into render because these do have it does emit its own light and so there is some way that the light oh that looks weird okay yeah see without I don't know it's very subtle but I'm gonna try let's try this real quick I'm gonna go ahead what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna try putting in like two different colors into here uh, to kind of highlight these just a little bit and I don't want to go too drastic I just want to go just just a subtle slight um, difference so I'm gonna go ahead let's go into textures we're going to create a new one and oops let's remove that oh well okay let's see we go to new and let's go to let's go ahead and name that deflector deflector blue Deflector blue, for lack of a better term. There we go. And we're going to go ahead and change the color. So let's go ahead. Let's make it a little bit darker. There we go. And let's go ahead and give it a slight admittance let's see that's 161 uh, let's see how that looks so let's go ahead and try let's try let's try this see how this looks so all I want to do is I just want to just kind of slightly accent those those little details there so if I do that wait nope that yeah see what I'm wanting to do I'm just wanting to just give it just a slight little accent let's try the bottom and then we'll go ahead and render that and see how that see how that looks um, once again I apologize that if maybe if y'all were hoping to ex expect to see a lot more work done but um, as I mentioned or no I probably never mentioned this I you know I just been very busy lately I do have a full-time job of you know uh, and a small little business that I kind of run on my own I so I pretty much work almost from 8 to 8 on a daily basis uh, let's uh, let's see let's move that hardness down a little bit Okay, let's move the color down uh, so I pretty much work 8 to 8 so I don't get to have as much time as I would like to be able to try working on this um, I do what I can and I try to spend my time my free time whenever I have it to work on this but you know I also got a family I got kids that I got to you know work with and help them with their projects and everything and they've had quite a few projects that we've had to work on just got finished building a a uh, volcano for my youngest son 
Um, you know, they're doing the volcano thing. Eh, kind of. Well, maybe I don't want to admit that much. Let's see how that... Let's go ahead and finish that and we'll see how that looks. Oops. Um, yeah, we... And, he, and, you know, he's a... And we kind of did something a little bit different with his volcano just to kind of be a little bit unique. He's a Minecraft fan, so we went ahead and made a Minecraft-themed volcano. Um, it was, it's actually relatively easy, or simple to do, and it looks, you know, it, it does, it's not, it's probably not the prettiest build in the ball, so to say, but um, it's going to definitely be different. I don't think anybody else is is doing the Minecraft thing, but it was just a lot of work. Um, you know, my oldest son did the did a volcano. All we did was just throw. There we go. All we did was just throw some, you know, some tin foil together, put a bunch of, um, you know, glue on it, and oops, gave it a bunch of. You know, threw some dirt on it as well, and you know, well, we had the volcano, but he wanted the Minecraft one, so that took a while to build all those little blocks and then put them together and everything. But it was fun, and he's he's going to enjoy it. That's what it comes right down to. But I've been too busy doing all of that, so I haven't had a whole lot of time to work on this. I almost feel like I've kind of neglected, you know, neglected, you know, this this particular, you know, project of mine. Um, but eventually we'll, I'll get a little bit more time and we'll get back in, I'll get back into working on this. Uh, let's see, but you know what? I think this is working out real well. I kind of like that. So let's go ahead and back out, go into rendered mode again. Yeah, I think that, yeah, see, see what I'm trying to do? I just wanted to just give just a subtle look little bit of a look. Let's go ahead and put on ambient occlusion again. Whoops. There we go. And environmental lighting to kind of lighten it up a little bit. And yeah, that's starting to look pretty good. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and probably cut the episode off right here. I said I mentioned the last episode. I'm going to try my best to keep these episodes just a little bit shorter. I mean, try to keep them close to the 15 minute mark as much as possible because once again, I know that, you know, time is precious for a lot of people. It's precious just for me. So you don't always have time to be able to sit down and watch, you know, 30 minute episodes and, um, you know, 30 minute 40 minute episode so you know the shorter the better you know so you can get in kind of see what's going on and then move on to the next you know move on to the next episode that you have inside your your queue that you want to of stuff that you want to watch um you know, I was telling my wife the other day it's like you know I watch a lot of YouTube videos whenever I get the chance as well but you know it just seems like that a lot of the people that I usually subscribe to they were you know, first starting off with 10 minute, 15 minute episodes, but now they're doing 30 minute episodes or even now one hour episodes and of the stuff that they do. And it's, you know, that really cuts into the day and you got them where they're releasing three or four videos a day. You know, you got, something's got to give. You can't eventually, you eventually can't just watch all those episodes. So then you start missing out a lot of episodes, you know, so yeah, and I don't want to be one of those type of guys, so we're going to try shortening it up. So I'm going to go ahead and call it quits right now. Uh, once again, I apologize for not getting a whole lot done, but I did want to go ahead and you know show you all what I have got done, show you all the progression of the deflector dish, because uh, once again, except for a couple of small little, some cleaning up, I mean, the details that and texturing, I mean, the it's pretty much done, especially even this uh, the inner portion's done. This portion right here, a little bit more work on details, but not much. But I wanted to show you that I also was going to get a lot done because I'm redoing all this. But uh, I am very happy with the way that that is looking because once again, that is lining up a whole lot better than what it did originally before. So that and every time that it lines up, I mean, as good as it does on this picture the model that means that we're one step closer to make to replicating this almost exactly the way that Doug Drexler replicate or created the ship 
um, which you know which is a part of this project and the part of the challenge that I have that I've issued for me you know is to try to get this as as close as possible with just the minimal amount of detail of information that we had so I just want to go ahead and thank you all again for watching and I will see you all in the next episode